Hey, this is Killian McGrath with Unhash.com, and today I'm going to show you how to send Bitcoin or Ethereum from Coinbase to Binance. For this video, I'm going to assume that you already have a Coinbase account where you store either Bitcoin or Ethereum. However, if you don't already have those things, you can check the description below for a tutorial on how to set up your Coinbase account and how to use it to buy cryptocurrency. I'm also going to assume that you already have a Binance account set up. However, if you don't, it's very simple. Uh, there's a link to Binance in the description below. All right, now for actually sending funds from Coinbase to Binance. First, go to your Binance account, click on Funds, then click Deposits. Once on that page, look for the cryptocurrency you want to deposit, either Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, I'm going to be depositing Bitcoin for this tutorial. Once you've selected Bitcoin or Ethereum, the cryptocurrency that you want to deposit to Binance, you'll be shown an address like this. Copy that address. Go back to Coinbase, go to Accounts, then select either your Bitcoin or Ethereum account that you want to send from. Um, if you've selected Bitcoin on Binance, make sure that you send from a Bitcoin wallet. Click on the Send button. You're then going to copy and paste the address that you got from Binance. I would make sure to look back at Binance to confirm that it's the right address and you're not missing any letters. Then enter the amount you want to deposit onto Binance from Coinbase. I'm going to choose the max, click continue. Uh, you'll then be shown any fees that come with this transfer. There's a five cent fee. Click confirm. You see the message, your transaction's on the way. Um, it takes, I think, one confirmation on Binance, which is, or maybe two. So it should take about 10 to 20 minutes for this transaction to go through to Binance. I'm going to pause the video and then catch back when the transaction makes it through. I'm still waiting for the deposit to go through. Uh, you can see the pending deposit here, one of two confirmations. And I did realize I missed it initially, but it's two confirmations that are required by Binance. After about 25 minutes or so, my deposit's gone through. You can now see it's showing completed here. Uh, I'm now going to show you how to use the cryptocurrency deposited to Binance to actually trade for buy a different cryptocurrency. Go to the exchange at the top left and click basic. There's no need for the advanced view. On the right here, you're going to be able to select the cryptocurrency that you want to purchase. Um, since we deposited Bitcoin, you'll click this BTC here. That'll show you Bitcoin trading pairs. If you had deposited Ethereum instead, you'll want to click ETH. Uh, now I'm going to click in, or I'm clicking back to Bitcoin, trying to decide what I want to buy. I haven't really put any thought into this. Let's buy, this is Cardano. Yeah, Cardano ADA. If it's the first one, we'll, we'll buy that. Uh, you have two options, or three options actually, but primarily you'll want to place either a limit order or a market order. If you're just purchasing a small amount, you'll want to choose market order. Uh, the difference is that with a market order, you just enter the amount you want to buy, and then the exchange will automatically execute that order at the best available price. With a limit order, you can set the maximum that you're willing to pay with like the maximum price you're willing to pay. But I'm just going to place a market order since there's no volume issues with the small amount I want to buy. Uh, if you click amount here, you'll see that it's showing the maximum you can buy. This is actually just an estimate um, because the price is constantly changing. So it can't know, ex it can't know at all moments the maximum you can buy as you can see there it changed but still you might run into issues if you try to buy the max so i'm just going to buy 500 cardano ada coins since it's a market order it should execute immediately at the best available price so we'll check my balances and well i guess i had 27 ada beforehand but it's purchased an additional 500 uh, if you go to orders, you can look at my, and the trade history that I spent 0 0.00001453 Bitcoins to buy 500 Cardano ADA. All right. Well, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Hopefully this answered all of your questions on how to send Bitcoin or Ethereum to Binance from Coinbase. For more helpful cryptocurrency tutorials, subscribe to our channel and check out unhash.com for the latest cryptocurrency news and cryptocurrency prices.